So on this video, I'm going to talk about the biggest mistakes that expats and high net wealth individuals make when it comes to retirement. And some of these actually apply to everyone, regardless of their financial situation. Before going into this, you can go over to adamfire.com, especially if you're an expat or a high net wealth individual. The first mistake that people make is not asking the right questions. Questions like, what if? What if something happens to my business? What if something happens to my health? Is there a gap there? Also, simple questions like, if something was to happen to me tomorrow, do I have enough money primarily for my investments to fund my retirement? That's the first thing. Secondly, more specifically to people who have got international portfolios or their expats, is not factoring in uh, currency risks. So, for example, when I went overseas first to travel in 2007, I noticed many British expats were living really well on British pensions because the British pound was two to one against the dollar then. And it seems like a different world, right, compared to now. And a lot of them were reliant on that high exchange rate in addition to things like countries like Thailand and China and beyond being quite cheap back then. But then over time, those things have changed dramatically. So that's another thing, not factoring in those currency risks and also certain places might become more expensive, especially if you're going to retire in a cheaper country. Now, thirdly, link to that last point. If you've got assets in many different jurisdictions, that increases your currency risk, but it also increases your hassles. So when it comes to return on investment or ROI, when you get older in particular, you have to focus though also on ROI adjusted for time, hassles and risks. And do you really want to be that 75-year-old or 82-year-old who's getting called up by a real estate agent saying there's something with the tenant or something like that? So a big factor here, I think, is factoring in the risk of something happening to those illiquid assets, like a tenant not paying or something like that. You should ask yourself the question, is it possible to simplify my financial life? Is it possible to have one or two portfolios as opposed to loads of different assets in loads of different places? And then also linked to that, when you've got assets in many different places, you've also got tax risks. Because, for example, in the last 10 years, if you're a UK landlord, even if you're an expat, the taxes have gone up a lot. So when it comes to having so many assets in so many jurisdictions, you have to ask yourself, this is a big tax risk. It's not just about currency, it's also about tax. Can you simplify and consolidate those portfolios? So those are the main issues I've seen and the main risks. If you want help with retirement planning, go over to adamfire.com and we can help you.